The weather is heating up and so will you on the first really hot day if your car air conditioner doesn't work. If it doesn't, what should you do? Well, I know many of you will run to the nearest auto parts store and buy a can of refrigerant and add it to the AC system. Hey, refrigerant is always the answer, right? Uh, but before you do that, it would make sense to find out what's wrong with the system. Granted, it's common for AC systems to be low on refrigerant. You probably call it Freon, which is actually a registered trade name for refrigerant, but there are hundreds of other possible causes. Now, suppose you have a clogged expansion valve or any of several other failed or malfunctioning parts and you, or, and you add more refrigerant to a system that is already full. What do you think might happen? Yep. You got the picture. You just made a mistake that could change a minor problem into a major problem, or more precisely, cheap repair into second mortgage costly repair. Until you know what's wrong, I wouldn't add refrigerant, which means you'll probably need the help of a technician with proper tools. But then comes the next problem. What is proper and how do you decide on a technician? We'll begin by looking for an ASE certified tech, but not just any certification. ASE air conditioning certification. Once you find your ASE certified tech, ask a basic question. Do you use a refrigerant identifier? If the answer is yes, on every job, you probably have a good AC tech. But if the answer is no, or I don't think they're necessary, or even what's a refrigerant identifier, keep looking. Using a refrigerant identifier is incredibly important in today's world. We live in a time where it is a world economy with parts and products being produced all over the world. And here's a surprise for you. Not everyone in that big wide world economy is honest, which can lead to lots of grief when it comes to your air conditioning. It is also why refrigerant identifiers are so important today. A refrigerant identifier tells the technician what chemicals are in your AC system. That may sound silly, but refrigerant is expensive, which makes it a prime target for crooks. By blending cheaper chemicals into the refrigerant they sell, they can still have a product that cools cars while they make enormous profits. But there's a problem because there's a reason these cheaper products are not allowed in air conditioning in the United States. Some of them are explosive. So if you're involved in an accident, your AC could catch fire or explode. And neither is fun. Another possibility is a chemical reaction that produces a deadly gas that could leak inside the car. Or, more commonly, they cause deterioration of very costly parts inside your AC system. Bottom line, thanks to greedy crooks, there are lots of counterfeit refrigerants out there. So you need to pick a shop that uses a refrigerant identifier both on the cars they work on and on the new containers of refrigerant they buy to install in your AC. The crooks don't tell shops they're selling uh, them counterfeit refrigerant, and if the shop doesn't check what they're buying, counterfeit refrigerant could wind up in your AC system. At first it works great, but slowly your AC performance drops as the counterfeit crap destroys the inside of your AC system. So, protect yourself and your money by asking about refrigerant identifiers before letting anyone work on your AC. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to Goss's Garage on YouTube. Follow us on Facebook. And for more car tips, tricks, and money saving ideas, visit goss garage.com. Drive gently. See you next time, right here in Goss's Garage.